Good day to you one and all, it is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again, beaming to you, not live, but direct from this, the big angel, Los Angeles, um, in California. Um, this is what they call the June gloom, it's not actually, uh, I, don't, I always seem to forget that, whenever I come to LA I just imagine it's, you know, sunny all the time and I only pack sort of Hawaiian shirts and, you know, voluminous uh, walking trousers, but then then it's just really overcast. I've hardly had to break out my swim costumes and I packed more than one as well. Can you believe that? Anyway, um, yes, today I'm talking about uh, a band that I've recently covered um, in a sort of retrospective way because they've done something new and exciting. Um, it's Tenacious D. They've done a cover of Wicked Game, which was released on the 1st the first of June. Now, I love Wicked Game. I, honestly, I think that's a standard. It's a classic. Um, so I'm going to watch the video and react to it. I didn't bring a guitar because uh, top professional, don't need it. Uh, guitars are for wimps anyway, aren't they? Justin Hawkins rides again, again. Undeniably the same theme tune, even without the accompaniment. That's what you call a cappello. Um, so after the band's viral rendition of Chris Isaac's Wicked Game during a serious XM live session back in December, um, Tenacious D's cover quickly became a fan favourite at the shows. I mean, you can imagine it, can't you? I've n I haven't heard this, by the way. On Thursday, Jack Black and Kyle Gass unleashed their official recording to the masses along with a music video. And the video plays uh, on the original, which follows um, Chris Isaac with supermodel Helena Christensen um, romping around in the sand. It's a, I mean, that is an iconic video. And I've got to say, I'm really excited about hearing Jack Black sing that. His voice is, he's a serious singer. Um, anyway, Dead Meat says, this has huge taking my golden retrievers to the beach energy, which can only be good. Leon Lush uh, correctly states, art in its purest, most majestic and spiritual form, transcendent from start to finish. And a thousand point one people agreed with that, which uh, I'm one of them, I think. Um, Alex Pazmino says, we need a full version of this song because Jack Black does a beautiful job singing this song. He truly has a great voice. Um, I can attest to that. I've heard him sing in real life, and I think he's brilliant. He really knows how to rock. Um, he has loads and loads of uh, emotive and just the right kind of uh, affectations to really deliver a song like Wicked Game. So I'm I'm excited. I'm going to click on the link, and then we can regard together. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, it's beautiful. I don't know why they didn't do it in black and white though. It feels like. Um, feels like a missed opportunity or is this I mean just to see those fleshy tones is ah, I already love it <laughs> this is beautiful I wonder if they filmed this in lower stuffed It's already the greatest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that looks so happy. I don't feel like they're running very fast. I mean, even though this is obviously slow motion, you can tell by the undertow and the way the waves are breaking, but I feel like they're deliberately holding up the pace so that the uh, cameraman can keep up with them and really drink in the beauty. This is fucking awesome. It's already awesome. Wow. It just looks so overjoyed. What a wicked game to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love it. To make me feel It's really funny to see Jack Black sort of looking around at Kyle Gas beaming and then this sort of really emotive, low and resonant delivery of, of uh, the legend that is wicked game. It's a brilliant juxtaposition. What a wicked thing to do To let me dream of you There's nothing wrong with that delivery. There's no auto-tune on it. This is just... Oh my god, it's a masterclass. Listen to that guy sing and tell me he can't... Tell me he shouldn't be doing it. Nobody thinks that. Tenacious D is awesome, we all know it. What a wicked thing to say It's so awesome. You never felt this way What do we get thing to do? 
think that the tonal variety in this delivery is just awesome. Like he's tightening it up now and making it rock a little bit harder. God, it's great, isn't it? To make me dream of you. And there he goes, up into his falsetto. Uh, not, I mean, he's effortlessly sort of, the change doesn't sound like yodeling, it's kind of, it's really smooth. <laughs> I've just paused it at 1 minute 16, it's like, it seems like something's caught their attention to their left. Never seen two happier men on a beach, and I grew up in Lowestoft where everybody's happy and there's a beach. Nobody loves no one. <laughs> I mean, that is a seriously abridged version. There's about three verses missing, I think. And that's obviously the the famed outro. Um, it's beautifully done. I totally agree that there should, be, there should be a long version of this. I mean, just the more of that video, please. Wow. I've heard so many people cover that song. Um, and everyone tries to reinterpret it and uh, pull it out of that sort of um, um, free free five or what would it free five five with you know old fashioned Bigsby trim, loads and loads of delay on it, the, the classic sort of wicked game sound, and then to hear it acoustically and sung just I don't know in a really sincere way, and then add that video to it, it's a it's masterful. It really is. This is fucking awesome, and it should be there should be a long version of it. <laughs> I'd like to hear more instrumentation in there as well. This must be the original, um, the original serious. Oh no, it's an octane session. The way he's doing that, like normally you'd hit a do and you'd use the wham wang bar or the whammy bar, whatever you call it, and um, but he's bending the neck, it's like he's pushing against the body of the guitar and pushing the neck to to make all the strings go down a bit it's edgy because <laughs> you can snap it off if you get too excited <laughs> enough about my sex no forget it but what a wicked game to play it's beautiful what a wicked thing to say you never felt this way Oh, there's so much great even in that sort of gentle stuff that he's doing. I don't know, I think the way he's used his voice over the years has uh, warmed it up in this in this sort of mid, sort of slightly higher mid area. And even when he's not pushing any air through it, it just sounds gorgeous. And even live, that sort of transition into the falsetto is just flawless. Oh, check that out, there's so much passion in it. It really is uh, exciting to hear Jack Black sing this song. Nobody loves no one. Words to live by, my friend. Absolutely awesome. Wow. Okay, so I'm really glad that this has happened. Um, somebody has covered Wicked Game and done it justice. It might not be the definitive version, I still think that's Chris Isaacs, but this is fucking amazing and I think they should do the long form, the long form version with all of the absent um, verses and cori, if that's the plural. Don't know, use the comment section here to tell me if I'm wrong or right. Um, I'll sing the theme tune and uh, bid you adieu. Justin Hawkins rides, that's even wrong. Justin Hawkins rides again again don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications watch one of these two videos and uh, marvel at uh, the expertise of jack black the recording artist triple threat dance sing act all right nice one guys we'll see you on the ice take it easy okay.